Hi everyone and welcome back to my inventory system series in UE4. If you've been following along all this time, a big massive thank you to everyone who's been supporting me and liking and sharing these videos and subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to continue supporting me, I do have a Patreon now up, it's just at patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, links in the description. There you get to see videos two weeks ahead of time, even with the smallest of donations, so big thank you um, if you choose to support me in that manner. Say so all the money raised by Patreon will go towards uh, making these videos better, with better equipment. And also go towards my development of my new game project that I've just started. Um, more details of that project will be released to Patreon supporters and eventually to the general public as well. So let's go on to what we're doing today. So since finishing the inventory system series, a lot of people have uh, liked this series, but I've also noticed a couple of bugs. So nobody's perfect, at least of all me. We're going to go into an uh, inventory system series again and fix the uh, these three bugs. Okay, three in particular. So bug number one. So bug number one is when I pick up an item, I've got that text you see flashing where it auto wraps after the first frame. So for one frame, it's long, and then it auto wraps. Okay. So we're going to fix that. And we fix that on the inventory tooltip widget. So open up your tooltip widget. And the reason why it does that is because the auto wrap text function, which if you click on the text box here and scroll down to wrapping, you'll see auto text, uh, auto wrap text. So we tick this box and it does auto wrap. However, the way this function works is it first needs to render the text out and then it will wrap it. Okay, so for at least one frame, the text will be at full width. So we don't want that to happen because it's ugly, but what we can do to fix that and alleviate that problem is change wrap text at here to be a fixed value rather than zero. And the value we want to type in will be coming from our size box. So click on the size box and you'll see the width override is 300. So I'm going to set my auto wrap text at to be slightly less than that. So I'm going to do 290 for both my item name and my item description, like so. And if we go back into the game, you see that problem no longer exists. Okay, so problem number two. If I was hovering over an item slot and I hit the tab key, the item tooltip still exists. Okay, so very easy, simple one to do this. You want to go into your inventory slot. And where we've done on mouse leave and removing from the widget slot tooltip, um, slot tooltip being the variable we saved from when we created the, the tooltip we're simply just going to do a destruct event so do destruct and this event triggers as soon as this slot inventory slot is destroyed basically and is removed from the game and all we're going to do is to hook that to there and that is it click compile go into your game push play and I'm going to pick up something hover tab and you'll see it disappears, and that's because the slot it belongs to has also disappeared. Okay, so very simple fix. So the last one is slightly a bit more of a fix, and that is the inventory query. So we've done a query system previously where we looked at, say, item herbs here, and we want to check how many we got. We tied query to a queue key. Okay, so the issue we had was this would work if and let's go into my character um, so if I'm looking for item herb 3 3 of them and push play pick up 3 ok this would work because I've got 3 so hit Q oh, Q you say is in my inventory however this doesn't work if um, I want to look for something that doesn't stack like an item rock so I'm going to check if I've got 3 rocks so pick up one, two, three, three rocks. Hit tab, see, three rocks, and hit Q. You'll see it says it's not in my inventory, which isn't the case because it obviously is there, we can see them. So we need to change the way this function works slightly. So to do that, we're gonna go into that function. So that function was found on our inventory component and it looked something like this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna change this slightly and what, how we're going to change it is we're going to keep a running total of how many of matching items we have in our inventory. 
and then and then check that at the end. So I need a local variable called running total, and what I'm going to do is I don't need this and function anymore because I don't need to look for a stack with a certain amount. So I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of these. And I'm going to get rid of, uh, actually no, I'll keep this, I can just disconnect this with the alt key. So, with the query item, I'm going to check that this is the same item that matches, hook that up like so. And now this is true, meaning we found the right item, we're going to add the quantity to this running total. So drag running total out, choose get, item quantity out, plus integer plus integer and then we're going to set running total and that simply just adds on to the running total as we go and we don't want to either leap a loop back around to that break anymore so we can just connect all of that as it's not needed so this keeps a running total of how many of that item we have in our stock so now we come to the comparison bit so when we go to completed we don't want to use success anymore we don't need that in fact, we can actually get rid of the local variable of success. And I want to check with a branch whether or not my running total is greater or equal to my query amount, which is this input on the function. Like so. And click compile. So let's go back and test that out. Pick up one, two, three rocks. I have three in my inventory. Hit the Q. It's not in my inventory. What have I done wrong there? It's greater than or equal to. It goes round. It should. Oh, sorry. Is in my inventory. We want to tick. Okay. In fact, we can actually get rid of this branch and just hook that straight into our return node. Oh, there you go. Test that again. One, two, three. Three rocks. Hit Q. And there you go. Is in my inventory. And now I'll keep track of all the stacks I have. So that also keeps track of multiple stacks so if I needed uh, say six herbs I can have multiple stacks of these herbs and it will still count them all up in the running total and that's it thank you very much for watching the entirety of the inventory system uh, series hopefully you enjoyed it um, as I said please check out the patreon and see if that's up to your fancy as say one dollar uh, subscription will get you access to videos two weeks ahead of time right now you can look at the XP system on there um, two weeks ahead Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.